Let's take one sample data set and calculate entropy and information gain. Finally, we will arrive at a decision tree. So this is the data set I took. So I took the four important uh, attributes of COVID-19, fever, tiredness, cough, breathing problem. And I have added one output column that presents whether the person has COVID or not. Okay, thus at that I have represented by S or no. And uh, look at the values of all the four attributes. These are all categorical. Okay? You can even have continuous value. But the problem is that if you have a continuous value, the number of childs that is emerging out of a particular road is will grow like as many number of values as you have. So it's often better and best to have only categorical values. And in which case, if you have continuous values, you can map it to a categorical race based on the range. So now, uh, here I have calculated the entropy. So now first what to do, take the entire data set, identify how many class labels you have. Depending on the number of class labels, identify the entropy. Now we have only two class labels, no and then yes. Okay. So identify how many number of instances are having no. These many number of instances, five. So this value is equal to 5 by 5. So I have yes and no column. First I have calculated the value of 5 by 11. What is the formula for entropy? It is uh, sigma which has to run for all the class labels. And the formula to be applied is pi log 2 pi. That is pi means the probability of having that class label among your instances. Here the total number of instances is 11. The number of occurrences of no is 5. So you have to calculate 5 divided by 11. That's it. Okay. So that uh, we have calculated. And this is uh, the number of yes cases, which is 6 divided by 11. So the log value. So how to calculate log in Excel is you can apply log of the value which you want to calculate comma 2, which is the base. Similarly, here is the log value. Just multiply these two. You will get these values. Okay. This is the summation of the PI log to PI for S category and PI log to PI for no category. How much is the entropy of the system? It is 0 0.99, which states that the entire data set has too much of variation. That means the output column doesn't have a single variable. It has heterogeneous data. That's what is the meaning understood by entropy. So now this is the entropy of the total system based on your output column. So now what is our next step? We have to calculate the entropy having every attribute and we have to calculate the gain out of it. If we assume fever to be the root node, how much will be the gain in my entropy? Okay, how, how much information gain will I get? Okay, depending on the variability of data we have. That is what, that is what we are going to calculate. Now look at this. Okay, so now uh, this is this sheet has the calculations considering fever as my root node. So fever, if it is my root node, I have sorted the values. You can see there are three values for fever. One is high, another one is low, another one is more moderate. These are the instances having the fever value as high and these are having low fever values and these are having moderate fever values. So now fever has uh, three values, high, low and moderate. I have segregated using colors to make you better understand. Mm, so how many number of instances are there for fever? It is actually six. So the entire entropy has to be multiplied by six divided by 11. So out of 11 instances, we have six having fever at fever attribute value as high. Okay. So then again, how to calculate this entropy? When your fever is high, how many output column that is having class label yes so that is 4 and hence 4 divided by 6 how many are having value as no it is 2 it is 2 divided by 6 okay similarly you come to this low attribute sorry low value in fever attribute we have three columns so it is 3 divided by 11 and if you look at the output here we have only no class label there is no yes class label so how should be the entropy yeah we know that log to 1 Okay, so the value of uh, 1 is equal to 0 and hence if you multiply the entire equation, it will become 0. What does it mean when the entropy is 0 or near to 0, we say there is no variability on the data that is ensured here, right? Similarly, if you if it is moderate also, you can see yes is the 
only value that we have class label we have and hence the entropy and hence the entropy calculated is zero okay now again uh, just this is uh, the calculation of entropy this need to be multiplied by 6 divided by 11 and this total entropy is the cumulative of all okay once calculated this this is the entropy that is obtained by having assuming fever as the attribute root node okay so now what is the information gain if you have fever as the root node that is that we can get by subtracting the value calculated you from the total entropy of the system so which is 0 0.4931 Similarly, for the next second attribute, I am assuming tiredness to be my root at root node and hence we are going to calculate. Okay, so how many class labels are there? It is two, no and yes. How many instances are having no as your tiredness attribute? It is four. Okay, so it is four by eleven. The other case is seven by eleven. Now, within this four, no class label, no value. How many are having COVID? How many are not having? It is two, two. So, the entropy is calculated using 2 by 4, 2 by 4. Similar way we calculate and we end up with the information gain as 0.003. Okay. So, moving on to cough. Cough also has two values, no and yes. So, again, four instances are there with cough value as no and seven others are having yes value. Okay. So, the, by obtaining the entropy and by multiplying it with the proportion, we get 0 0.37 as the total entropy if we assume cough to be the root node. Subtracting this from your main entropy, we get 0 0.618. Okay. Similar thing we did for breathing also. Now, in your base sheet, in the base sheet, I have just written all the information gains. Okay, so now among this, which needs to be decided as the root node? Yeah, whichever is having highest information gain has to be assumed as the root. Whichever is having highest information gain has to be assumed as the root node. Okay, so now with this root node, now we will try to draw a decision tree graph. Cough is the root node now, which is the decision parameter. It takes two values, no and then yes. Then the uh, this uh, base, so this entire data set now got shrinked to or divided into two different data set based on the value of cough. Okay. Now this is the uh, resultant data set having the cough value as no. This is the resultant data set having cough value as yes. Once done, if you look back at this left hand side of the tree, uh, look at the output node. It's all no. What does it mean? When cough is not there for a person, not infected with the coronavirus, right? That's all. You don't need to break further, okay? So, it's the uh, meaning of bringing the most prompt root node, okay? In order to reduce the number of computations. So, if it is yes, again, we do have a data set of this kind where, again, we have three attributes, three input attributes and one output column. This procedure will rerun okay in order to ensure or in order to find how which is which becomes the root node over here okay so for this subtree which becomes the node over here so to this entire tree this becomes an intermediate node to this subtree it becomes a root node okay so again you divide and then the process will go on until all the leaf nodes have only one class label added okay thank you